Welcome to Newsletter Guru TV, your show with a boatload of smart marketing and business building advice and a little fun along the way. This episode of Newsletter Guru TV is brought to you by Decide, the ultimate success trigger. There is unquestionably something that triggers high levels of success for some entrepreneurs, while others simply struggle to even break six figures. It's the ability to decide. When faced with a challenge, situation, opportunity, or anything else that requires a commitment to do one thing or the other, when a decision needs to be made, some entrepreneurs freeze, or many more simply postpone the decision to a later date, and that leads directly to Squishyville. Decide, the ultimate success trigger will get you comfortable growing a more profitable business faster. Get your copy today at www.decideforsuccessbook.com. That's www.decideforsuccessbook.com. Hey everybody, Jim Palmer, the News Editor Guru, your dream business coach. Are you hearing me talk? <laughs> and Blue and I are out here for a chilly uh, December walk. And it was funny because uh, just this past weekend, Stephanie and I were doing something. No, we're going to stay right here. Stephanie and I were doing something which made me um, think of sharing this lesson with you. Actually, it was a, a week ago. It's funny how stuff comes into your head and goes, oh man, that'd make a good video. So I was doing an interview about a week ago, and before we went on the, uh, went live or recorded, whatever, um, there's a guy close to my age, and he says, man, how do, how do old dogs like us keep up? And I thought it was pretty funny. Because I think I'm pretty young at heart. In fact, well, Stephanie would tell you I'm darn near a teenager with my sense of humor and maturity at certain times. But anyway, that's what keeps us young, right? But anyway, just this past weekend, Steph and I started to teach Blue. Hey, Blue. We started to teach Blue here, who is an old dog. Blue is a, um, he's a nine-year-old uh, uh, lab that we rescued about two months ago, maybe three months ago. I think yeah, time's flying by. It was in September, actually, I think. And... Um, Blue had a story that we fi we found through um, Missions of Mercy Animal Rescue, and uh, the first seven years of his life were real good, and then his owner died, and um, the remaining family, sadly, had him staked up in the yard for like two years. He basically couldn't get off this uh, chain for like two years, and when we got him, I mean, he's just a really good dog, just gentle. I mean, look at that face. Hey, Blue, look at that face, buddy. So, just a really, really great dog, but after being chained up for two years um, he wants to run he is a runner so one time he snuck out the front door uh, I'm used to when I had Toby I could like pop the leash off right at the front door and he'd go in blue took took off and he's taken off on my son a couple times and I think it was being penned up for two years he just had the runner's instinct and wanted to run so we figured well gosh we can't have him like taken off every time so uh, we started come over here, and I'm going to show you right behind me. Well, you can see there's the fence. Beautiful ball fields right, right near our house, right near the lake. And uh, so Stephanie and I brought him over here a couple times this past weekend. Come on. Come, buddy. That's a good boy. We went on either side of the ball field, and uh, we each had some treats. And we would call him, and he would come. And so... I guess that's the first part is teaching teaching him how to run and then he gets rewarded and after a while it becomes habit he'll come and you don't have to reward him every time <laughs> and you might be wondering well what in the world does this have to do with marketing and growing a dream business there's no deer here now just <laughs> don't be taken off and it, it's, it really goes back to the old dog new tricks you know when I started my business I thought I knew darn near most things I needed to do to start my business and then I did okay like you know the first five years I did okay and then I I figured I started plateauing and then I had to learn a thing called leverage because I was doing everything by myself. I was a solopreneur doing everything by myself. That's a good boy. And um, so I discovered leverage and I learned how to uh, use the power of the internet instead of just reaching clients, you know, close to my ho home where I wanted to work. I now uh, work with clients all over the country in multiple countries. I use, learned about VAs. I started learning internet marketing, direct response marketing doing videos and podcasting and just doing all these different things. It seems like for a while there, it was like every year you're learning something new. Now it's like every quarter and pretty soon it'll be every month there's something else coming up. But, you know, it does remind me of the old dog and, you know, you can always learn new tricks. So one of the things I, I talked to 
prospective clients on is, man, what's the last time you've done this or that or the other thing? And we saw, and you know, a lot of people that are stuck in a rut are stuck in a rut because they're not doing anything differently. They're not embracing the technology. They're not embracing the internet. They're not embracing so many different ways that they can grow their business from hiring, whether it's a staff member or virtual assistant. So no matter what your age, and by the way, you can be a 30-year-old old dog and you're gonna be stuck in your ways. There's always, there are always things changing. There's always things you can be doing. So anyway, we're gonna go continue our walk and maybe we'll go in the ball field and see if he can just come to me, <laughs> but I don't know if I'm willing to do that. But anyway, no matter how old you are, no matter what stage of your business you're in, uh, one of the smartest things you can do is uh, either get in a mastermind group or talk to a coach. Talk to some people who are really kicking it, really making it happen, and see what you can do to teach you, yourself, old dog, some new tricks and light a fire under your business. And um, that is it. So, hey, by the way, you want to be sure and check out Stick Like Lou Radio. That's the only podcast dedicated to helping you create an everlasting bond with your customers they stay longer spend more and refer more and that's a good thing refer more that's a good thing go to dream biz academy dream biz academy to get all the information on my next dream business academy it's taking place may 4th 5th and 6th in san diego california i'm only doing one event in 2016 i've done uh, every six months for two years two and a half years in a row and Quite honestly, it's pretty tiring. So as far as this old dog new tricks, we gotta find a way to get me some more energy so I can do more. But in all seriousness, I made a decision just to do one event in 2016. So one event and one event only. Uh, so do not miss it. It's gonna be an amazing, amazing event. Wait, don't look for ways that you can put a smile on somebody's face. And um, come here, buddy. We're getting ready to go. One random act of kindness at a time by everybody is gonna make the world a much nicer place. Until next week, another great episode of Newsletter Guru TV. My name is Jim Palmer, and this here is Blue. Say hi, buddy. Oh, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. We're going to teach you some new tricks, right? So I'm going to go continue to train Blue and teach this here dog some old tricks. Teach this old dog some new tricks, like stopping and coming and all that. So anyway, hey, this is Jim Palmer, the Newsletter Guru, your dream business coach. As always, I am committed to helping you build a more profitable business faster. Until next time, you take good care.